Hello and welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to start our episode out with a one hour mining session. I want you guys to leave a comment down below. Let me know how much you think I'm going to get. Uh, in iron, gold, lapis, redstone. Let's have some funly friend uh, gesture guesses here. I have a chest set up over there. There is nothing in it. And as you can see in my inventory, I have bare minimums. And we're going to do this. And I will go mining for one hour as we start our session. So I had to immediately come in because within the first two and a half minutes of mining, I stumbled across more diamonds. So just wanted to show you guys that really quick and back to my one hour session. So, so I'm about 35 minutes into my mining expedition and look what I came across. I found myself a skeleton spawner. All right. It's the first spawner that I found so far. Now we've got instant bone meal production. Excellent. And I'm going to turn it into an XP grinder. So I wanted to pop in really quick to show you this. And I'm going to continue going through and following my mining. I've got about oh, 22 minutes left on the hour. I'll catch you when I'm done. Okay, so after an hour of mining, I have filled the chest, organized it. And I didn't leave, put any of the cobblestone and all the natural material in there. But I do want to show you guys one thing. In between episodes, I did manage to get silk touch on a diamond pick. So I was able to harvest all the diamonds that I had down my previous shafts. But what I did is I harvested that once I finished the mining session. So there were a total of six of them. There were two on the ground here and four on the ground over to the right or sorry on the ceiling back here in my slime area so overall we had a great 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 hour mining session look at everything we got 38 diamond ore two and a half almost three full stacks of iron ore 12 gold ore ton of lapis a ton of redstone a ton of coal uh killing a couple zombies in between here and there and a leather cap so overall that was a great one hour mining session so what i'm going to do now is go ahead clear inventory get all this stuff put away and i will catch you on the flip side okay so after all our fun mining experience and gaining all that awesome materials that we needed our next adventure we're going to go on is in the nether. We need to get some blaze rods because I definitely need to start brewing up some potions because I have managed to capture not one zombie villager, but around the corner, I happen to get a second one. So this is going to be perfect. I'll have two zombie villagers and I will be able to start getting some villagers breeding. So we're gonna run away now and head into the nether and get this taken care of. So I will see you guys in the nether. And welcome back. We are in the nether now, heading out. Let's go find some blaze rod. So I realized as things are progressing now, I have gotten to the point where it's definitely time to start getting some potions brewing we've got our brewing stand i'm working on more rails to get this track complete so i don't have to keep making this run but uh it's not too bad of a run it's fairly safe we got a pretty sketchy bridge here and the first bridge i went over is pretty sketchy too <laughs> i really need to work better on uh getting it a lot more safer because there's usually about 50 million gas running around here so we're just going to head back over here because I know it back at my other nether portal is a fortress. So we're going to pop up into that fortress and see what we can get there. Now I did manage to get <clears throat> smite two and knockback one on my sword. I don't have looting and by fishing I managed to make this pretty badass bow. Flame one, unbreaking three, power five, mending one, punch one. So... 
that'll definitely get us through and I got a nice little stack 64 arrows that I made and finding that skeleton farmer or his skeleton farmer <laughs> the skeleton spawner that is definitely going to help with the production of arrows um, I got a bunch of chicken eggs I saved up so I'll start a chicken farm going so we can start getting some feathers and we'll have the bones from the skeletons so we'll start being able to make all my arrows and plus we'll be getting a ton of arrows from the skeletons so we are going to head over here and head into this section and see there are just so many gasps out here i'm loving this new bow though it one shot one kill on these guys it's absolutely awesome so let's just find a nice spot to be able to punch in here where it's somewhat safe See, where can we find our way in here? Gotta be some way. Of course, this is right in the middle of the ocean. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna make what? I just, oh, here we go. This is the way we came in the first time, just to take a quick peek. So, after doing all this running, I did a little bit of exploring, not a whole lot. Um, I'm using cobblestone as my marker, so that way I can find my way to and fro. Let's see what we got in here. Golden chest plate? Yeah, we can melt that down for some golden nuggets. But our main thing is we need to find a blaze spawner. And I know it's just, there's got to be one around here somewhere. So, I'm going to round around for a little while. When I find a blaze spawner, I'll be back. Okay, so I found an interesting hallway here, which we are now going to handle. We've got a nice weather skeleton there. I just killed some magma cubes. I've yet to find an actual blaze spawner. Oh, blaze rod. There we go. He dropped two of them. Awesome. That's what we're after blaze rods is the only reason why I'm in here right now and there we go excellent so that works out good so now I'm pretty happy because now we could start brewing that was the only thing stopping us from being able to do any type of brewing so I'm gonna continue to run around I'm gonna harvest some of this quartz while I'm here and then I will catch you guys when I get out of the nether. I'm going to do probably about a half hour or so of resource gathering. And I will catch you guys in a bit. Okay, so we are back out of the nether safely. No damage, nothing. Works out great. So this is the main reason why we went down there. We needed blaze rods for this reason. We need to get blaze powder now we have blaze powder now we can actually start brewing potions and getting ready to do some of this underwater adventuring because there are a few shipwrecks back in the old island where we first started that i want to go exploring but i need water breathing potions to be able to do that so that's going to be our next step is just throwing down a brewing station real quick uh, foraging for some ingredients that I need and then we'll go ahead and brew our first set of water breathing potions okay so I am going to be grabbing my ingredients here we're one piece of nether wart we have our brewing stand we have our blaze powder and we also need to grab water bottles which these actually I fished up which was nice, so I didn't even have to make any of those. And then we also need to grab some puffer fish, which again, from fishing, I've got a whole bunch of them. So what's going to happen? We're going to have that, we're going to have that. And then I also want to have it so it lasts longer. So I need to grab one redstone dust. One dust. And let's do this. Let's just drop it down right here for now. We will drop in one of our glaze powders, drop our water bottles in, drop our nether ward in, 
and we're going to just wait a second for that to brew. That'll give us our awkward potion. And then we'll add our next ingredient, which will be the puffer fish, which the puffer fish is the water breathing part of it. As you can see. Love that sound. Now we have awkward potions. Now let's put our puffer fish in there. We'll brew that down. And then we'll add our piece of redstone. These brew pretty quickly. Um, I will make a brewing station eventually. That's going to be a big project down the line. And as you can see, we have a three minute water breathing potion. So now we'll add a piece of redstone dust to that. What's there? Cook, 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 cook. Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble, making water breathing potions am I. <laughs> and there we go. We went from three minutes to eight minutes. So now we have three water breathing potions. Mission successful. I'm very happy with that. And what I may do too is take two of these pieces of blaze powder and I think we might make some ender chest. Let's see if we have some obsidian. We do. Because now that we have a silk touch pickaxe, we could start using ender chests. Now I only have three ender pearls, but we'll make that work. So we need two eye of enders. Now let's go over to the crafting table. Oh, I'm only going to be able to make one short on obsidian. Hmm. If we got any more anywhere else hiding. Which I believe is sitting in the old house. So here's what we're going to do. Because I finally finished up the railway system. You guys will be able to see firsthand the new transportation system. So we're going to hop in here. We're going to bolt and boogie our way out. And we're going to make it through here. I need to add some more powered rails in the beginning. I just realized it's kind of slow, but hey, not too shabby, right? Look at that. Boom. Cruising through the nether in style. Look at that. It sure heck beats running anymore. Now we zip across here. First sketchy bridge. Got to really make that much more safer. I'm going to make it a full blown tunnel. That way nothing can shoot through there. And now we go down and around. I mean, it's not that horrible of a ride. I definitely got to speed this up because I want to be able to move faster in between. So I'll add more powered rails going through. But for now, it gets the job done. I mean, look how fast we got from one point to the other. All due to a minecart. Now we're here. Perfect. Nice and fast. It's been a long time since you guys have seen me visit this area. And now we are back at our original homestead. So let's check out and see if I have any obsidian laying around. And you know what? While I'm here, might as well pick up these eggs. Because we're going to start to need a chicken farm soon too. I definitely don't have a problem with any types of food. I've been doing tons of fishing. So I have so much fish that I can't even eat it all. I'm not going through it as fast, so I'm not worried about food. I'm mainly concerned about getting their feathers. That's the high priority to make arrows until I can get an infinity bow. I don't have a bow yet with infinity on it, so that's really causing a problem. And of course, there's no obsidian here. Err, really thought there was. <laughs> oh well. Well, at least you guys got to see the new transportation rail. And now you know that we can travel much faster. Oh, these are still pumping out. Now, I did notice with the last update, this farm is now broken. 
See how they don't flow anymore? So I'm eventually going to take this all down, scavenge my minecarts out of there, and just let this go. And I'm not worried about it. I've got the oversized kelp farm over at the other base. So that should work just fine. We should be okay. So I'm going to go ahead and head back over to the other side. And I'll catch you in a few. Okay, so after mining a little bit of obsidian, I decided to stay over here because I had all the parts. I am going to now make the second ender chest. So now we will have two of them. Perfect. There we go. One, two. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave one here. So that way, now in the event traveling back and forth, if I can use this as my nice little gateway, which I'll show you how this all works. Especially if you're new to the game or you're not at a part where you've seen this. Sorry about the pause. I was paying attention to what I was doing here. I almost threw the wrong thing in there. <laughs> but this will allow now anything inside the ender chest will transport back where I put the other one. So it's great. Um, until I can get shulker shells and get to the end, ender chests are going to do. But uh, we're going to head back now and get back over to our main house. And while I was here, I found some turtle eggs that I collected up off of the beach over there because we're going to be making a turtle farm to collect the scoop so we can make our helmet, which is going to be awesome. I uh, gathered four eggs, and the eggs can only be gathered by using Silk Touch. So that was very glad I brought my Silk Touch pick with me. So now we're going to head back and now back at our base camp. And not all there is to the Nether here. In this Nothing video fancy today. I haven't done anything. I had at all. pretty much done a lot of resource so, gathering and me. running around doing a bunch of little different things. Uh, nothing was really planned for the last episode of any types of major building or anything like that it was more or less just a run around let's kind of get some things done let's finish some stuff up now i did go ahead and finish the cow farm so i will go ahead and show you what i've done over there just to make sure you guys see exactly what it is and it's not a surprise as i go running by off so over here i just did some very rustic kind of Barney style look. I got a roof up. I put some lighting. Started creating my pathways. Uh, eventually, I'm going to turn these pathways into actual probably cobble or some sort of stone walkway or some kind of nice decorative walkway in between. But for now, we're going to keep it this way. But as you can see, as we go around in a circle, just kind of gave it a very basic design i sheltered it with fences all the way around that way nothing could get in there and i've got a lot of slabs thrown in here so nothing will spawn and i also have plenty of light level now over here so i have yet to have any creeper spawn as we learned from last time <laughs> but uh this is pretty much how it's gonna end and i've been working on the cows there's plenty of little baby cows in here now. They all seem to be doing pretty good. You just do that. So far, so good. We're getting some nice breeding happening. And this is going to get all my uh, beef and all my leather set up for me now. Which is wonderful. And I just... Come right around each one. One, two, one, two. Give them some food. And perfect. And we've got little baby cows. I still haven't cleaned up from everything from when I was building, but hey. I'm going to take care of that now. And pretty much that's it for today's episode. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode today. It wasn't super exciting. I mean, we brewed some potions. We got some major stuff done. Um... I started building my house now over there because it's definitely time to move off of this island. I want to 
not be in the open anymore and it's time to start actually building up a nice place to live comfy place to call home uh, it's just kind of a base that i've got going it's not going to be all made of that stone brick i'm just using this stone brick right now as a temporary and then i'll start knocking black blocks out adding blocks in getting it all changed up looking nicey nice and the floor i'm going to leave as this uh, it's going to be multiple levels going up and that's about it that's my temporary enchanting station to get me what i need and yeah so again like i said we are going to go ahead and end today's episode i hope you enjoyed it i hope you're enjoying the whole episode if you're new to the channel please don't forget to hit that subscribe button also hit the notification bell that way you are always up to date and it sends out as soon as i send up a new video and again make sure as you go through the videos please 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 hit that like button on those videos helps channel grow and it helps people find me on the youtube community and again this is symmetry and i'm out